Hello and welcome to all of you. I'm Colt and you are watching Glossy Girls. So today I'm going to talk with match number 69, which was played between Delhi Capitals versus Mumbai Indians. And it's not a normal match as it could be because uh, more than the two teams, a team RCB would be watching the match because it's defined on this match will RCB qualify or not. Uh, if Delhi Capitals wins this match against Mumbai Indians, so Delhi Capitals, Delhi Capital will be the fourth team will qualify for the playoff. And if suppose Delhi Capital lose this match, so RCB will be the fourth team will qualify for the playoff. So it's depend on this match will RCB qualify or will uh, Delhi Capitals qualify. So RCB will be supporting obviously Mumbai Indians the the fans of RCB would be supporting Mumbai Indians today to see what happens I'm gonna review it completely here Mumbai Indians won the toss and decided to ball first so by the side of Delhi Capitals Delhi Capitals was invited to bat for for Delhi Capitals uh, I started the inning Prithvi saw along with David Warner as Prithvi so was looking in, in good touch as he he had not been playing for a couple of the match because uh, he was injured and uh, here he scored 24 of 23 deliveries as he hits two fours at one six size by the strike rate of 104 and in this very knockout match, match David Warner couldn't play well as Delhi Capital supporters were expecting from David Warner as he couldn't take that opportunity and couldn't make happy to their fans and he scored only five on the on only six deliveries thereafter missile mars comes on the strike and on the very first deliveries of Justin Bumrah he got out and he scored zero none of just one deliveries thereafter escape over Issa Pan comes on the comes on the strike and he scored 39 of 34, 33 deliveries as he hits four four and one sixes by the strike rate of 118.18 as he was taken by Isan Kishan on the ball of Ramandeep Singh. Uh, though after Sarpuraz Khan as he was taken by Isan Kishan as well once again on the ball of Main Markhandi as he scored 10 of just 7 deliveries couldn't do well in this match. By the end, in the end, Raman Paul a Western this powerful batsman as he, he scored 43 on 34 deliveries as he hits 1, 4 and 4 crucial, crucial 6 size by the strike rate of 126.47 and before getting out he had made 43 and he got out by the excellent baller just with Boomrah Boomra. he got bold and at the end uh, Akshar Patel finished excellent as he scored 19 of just 10 deliveries as he hits 2 6 size. So, by this way, Delhi finished the innings on 159 on the loss of 7 big hits. So, uh, Mumbai Indians needs 160 in the 20 hours. So, let's see, like Mumbai was able to change this title or not. It was RCB would be hoping for Mumbai Indians that, that he should win the match. So, our path will be open for reaching on playoffs. So, Let's see how Isan Kishan played well in this match. After such a long time, he made 48 of just 35 deliveries as he hits 4 6 sides and 3 fours by the strike rate of 137 as he made 48. He got just 2 runs shot from racing on half century. Unfortunately, he got out on the ball of Kuldeep, Kuldeep Yadav and catch was taken by David Warner as I'm moving towards escape hole. Roy Sarma in this match as well as a bad season for escaper Roy Sarma in this season. He proved he proved uh, off color even was unable to hit scoreless even boundaries. A uh, horrible season for Roy Sarma as he played 13 ball and could made only two runs. On the he got out on the ball of and reached not Gia by catch by taken by Swadil Chakur. Uh, in, on, in the circle. After that, the Brabis who is called Little Abby Diblios as he made 37 runs on 33 deliveries, hits 3 6 size, even big 6 size, and 1 force by the strike rate of 
112.12 and before getting out he scored 37 and he, he was he was been out by Sadhu Taku. He got bowled. Though after T. Burma, Tilak Burma, he scored 21 of 17 deliveries, included 1 6 and 1 4. Uh, by the strike rate of 123, as cash was taken by the escaper Rishabh Pant on the ball of Andre Nottijia. Uh, though after team, team David uh, just moved the match towards uh, Mumbai Indians and get chance to be happy. Uh, team RCB as Team David played a uh, crucial inning for their team as he made happy to RCB as well because uh, because of the inning of Team David RCB could reach in the playoff whether once a time in in 50 hours or uh, in the 50 hours uh, Mumbai Indians lead 68 runs so it wasn't seeming easy it was seeming like Delhi will win the match easily and it will be four team will reach in playoff but it couldn't happen just the dream of uh, delhi capital were broken uh, and team david uh, before getting out he scored 34 on just 11 deliveries as he hits four six size big six size uh, and t force as well by the strike rate of 309.09 wow that's an Extraordinary, miraculous, ravishing, unimaginable hitting by Team David. Uh, and at the end, Raman Deep Singh scored 13 also on 60 leverage as he hits T force. Uh, by this way, and just I, I want to mention one thing as well. Team David was out on the very first deliveries, but uh, umpire, umpire gave not out. And uh, the Eskipo, Delhi capital Eskipo, Rishabh Pant didn't take a review. It was, it was a big disadvantage for Delhi capitals. If he had taken a review, so Team David get got on, on very first deliveries by this way, Delhi capital could have won the match. But it didn't happen. Uh, an experienced captain, and sometimes. He feels frustrated. I'm talking about escape of Delhi Capitals. Then other Risa Pant as he didn't take review and he had, he had to make it, he had to prove it so costly as Delhi Capitals lost the match as his dream is to reach in playoff was broken totally. And by this way, uh, Mumbai Indians won the match and five deliveries were left. But, uh, so, uh, RCB got advantage when Mumbai Indians won the match and RCB was the fourth team will reach in playoff. So it was all a wait for this match guys. Uh, and I'll come again with an another video. I hope like you must have enjoyed it. Uh, by the, uh, I will talk about bowling side. So uh, Andy Nortzja and Sarul Thakur took T2 wickets. But it it wasn't enough as Kulipa Yadav took one more. So, uh, I think like I've covered all the things. Have fun, enjoy your time and be happy. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you guys.